Hi everyone, my name is Tina, also known as Bloomy Knitter, and this is Knitting Blooms. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have not a lot to share with you. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a shorter show, but I, um, I do have some progress on some projects today. Um, before I get started with my projects, I just want to kind of give you a couple week in review because um, it's been two weeks since I recorded last. I can tell you that my life is still crazy and overwhelming, but it is getting so much better. Um, Sammy is doing well. She is improving on her glucose levels. We are still in the process of um, basically going up the dose scale until we get the, the numbers that we want. Um, right now we're kind of in a holding pattern to see how she does on the current dose. Uh, usually we up the dose every, um, well we were doing it like every three days, but now it's like every five to six days, I think it is, or something like that, because she's seen some better numbers. But anyway, um... Yeah, so that is getting better, but my schedule is still crazy because I have to constantly monitor her and t test her every couple of hours um, to see where she is and what her numbers are and make sure she's not getting into any kind of danger zone and whatnot. So my sleep schedule is still totally wacky. Um, I get up sometimes two to four times a night depending on, you know, what's going on with her sugar levels. But honestly, it's it is so much better than it was. I mean, you'll you'll see that with the progress that I have made on some of my projects today. Because um, in the past couple weeks, before these past two weeks, um, I was barely knitting at all. But at least I've gotten to the point where I can sit down and relax and knit and enjoy a little bit of relaxation between tests. <laughs> There's still that anxiety, waiting for test time and stuff like that, but we'll get through it. Um, I haven't really even been playing much Sims. I have been kind of doing a, um, a trial run or a test of a challenge that I have written up. So that's pretty much the only Sims that I've been playing. I have been wanting to get back to doing Let's Plays. I've been posting a Let's Play about once or twice a week, but most of those are ones that I recorded before. Um, I think I today I'm posting a Let's Play that I just recorded last week, and I think. So um, I'm trying to get back to it. I'm hoping that maybe this weekend I will have some time to play a little bit. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I do want to remind you of the Snuggles Cal that uh, Shannon of the Knit Sip podcast is um, hosting. So if you are inclined to make some Snuggles in February, you have time to go and enter them over on her um, Knit Along. I still have not pulled out my knitting machine. I was thinking about pulling it out for club um, a couple weeks ago, and I just haven't done it. I keep thinking about it but it just hasn't happened. And it'll probably be another week before it gets pulled out because we are having a um, appraisal on our house next week, um, hoping to refinance the house. And so everything's being put away. <laughs> um, I also want to bring up again the knit-alongs that are currently going on. We have the Knit Your Stash um, knit-along that's going to be going on all year and the Finish It or Frog It February, which will be going on until the end of the month. Now, I probably will pull um, winners for Knit Your Stash next week when I record, and then the Finish It or Frog It the following week. Um, next week, I will also pull um, a winner for um, the Square a Week Cow, which is kind of an, an informal cow that we're doing for the sock yarn blankets. So I have been kind of, over the past couple of weeks, pulling together some little mini skeins that I could send to a lucky winner. And again, this will be, um, I'll do a drawing every single month for um, the mini skeins as well. So keep those um, posts coming in in that thread and um, hopefully you'll be the winner of um, some mini skeins. I have not... 
read too many posts this past week. I don't know. I just kind of felt overwhelmed. I think the first two weeks ago, um, I was still a little bit overwhelmed and not reading anything. And then this past week, I haven't been so much overwhelmed, but I kind of was overwhelmed when I went to threads and saw, you know, 60, 70 posts. So that's been the only reason why I haven't responded. But hopefully again this weekend I'll have a bit of time um, to relax a little bit and just to sit down and um, read through some posts and get some of those answered. I also have not answered um, YouTube comments as well. So hopefully I'll be able to get to that this weekend. Um, but I think that's about it. Um, I would like to try to schedule another VKN before Knittopia. Um, I have to really look at my calendar. I'm guessing it's going to be the second or third weekend in March. So kind of keep an eye out for some some posts in the um, the VKN thread if you're interested in doing a VKN in March. I probably will only do one in March because of Knittopia and trying to get ready for that. But um, I have missed um, sitting down and chatting with everyone that joins in. So I do want to try and get in a VKN before Knittopia. Um, that's about all the um, administrative stuff. So let's look at my knitting. And I have quite a bit of knitting. Um, you may have seen my finished project if you have been checking out my stash or my um, projects page because I already posted a picture of this. But I finished my socks. These are my Never Enough Time um, Totally Tina colorway with the pink for the cuffs, um, heel and toe. My green markers there, which you can barely see because they're kind of yellowish around the yellow background but that's where I was the last time I showed you a couple weeks ago and I finished the legs and I added the cuffs and I'm very excited to wear these and like I said I already posted my project picture so as soon as this podcast is done I will be putting these in my sock drawer so that's the finished project for today. I do have one project that I don't have here to show you um, because I am keeping it at my office. Um, it's kind of been my work project uh, and it's been nice because I haven't had to carry projects back and forth to work and then when I'm home I have other projects to work on and when I'm at work I just work on this project. And it is a log cabin blanket. Today I started block number five. I have a picture for you. Hopefully I will remember to put it in there. I took a picture today, um, right as I was starting block five, because um, I didn't want to get my needles in there and then take a picture when I, when I, wherever I was, because I would have been scrunched up. So I took it, I laid it down on the floor in my office and took a quick picture. I am planning on doing two kind of. Um, lap gans or whatever you know just a, a lap blanket um, or throw or something for Christmas this year so I'm hoping that I can get one done hopefully before Knittopia it's going pretty quickly although the first three or four squares or blocks are pretty small and not that many stitches and the blocks just get bigger from here so We'll see. We'll see how much I get done. If I don't get this one completed before Knittopia, what I probably will do is take a second one with me to Knittopia to get started um, and then still keep this one at the office and finish that and then have the other one. But I want to try and get them done pretty early in the year so I don't have to be stressed about getting it done close to Christmas. Um, so I have got that project going. That's made quite a bit of progress. I just started that last week. Um, my knit swirl has made some progress since the last time you saw it. Again, I, did, I haven't shown this to you in a couple of weeks and, um, a couple weeks before the last time I recorded. And then, now it's been two weeks since I recorded the last time. Uh, but I have made progress. Here it is. 
there's my marker right there and you'll notice that there is a gap here because this is a off center I think it's an off, it's an off center circle I think that's what this one is it's the perfect plum and honestly the first two knit swirls that I did were tangerine rose and when I started to do I'm, I'm expecting this huge decrease like I did for tangerine rose and that's not what happens with this um, with this pattern so I was kind of freaked out thinking that I was doing something wrong that I had missed some instructions um, but then I just kind of started going with it and then I looked at the chart the schematic which whenever I look at the schematic with the knit swirls it seems to make a little bit more sense to me so I looked at the schematic and I'm like okay I think I got it now I'm understanding where they're going because it's such a such a unique construction that um, I was not really sure how it was going but anyway I have got quite a bit done you can see that it is striping uh, I have I've been meaning to take a picture but I haven't done that yet but we are working back and forth we are no longer working in the round we are working back and forth now and I am still um, spit splicing on the back um, down here is where I was um, actually cutting the yarn but I have been spit splicing and it's been working out great and I have been making progress and it's feeling really good I don't know how many welts total this is going to be but um, I think I'm on like welt 16 or something thereabout but there you go it's gonna look really really cool with those stripes um, when I get it all blocked out I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like very cool so that is my knit swirl right now I really love this um, this pattern you know all of the different patterns um, for the knit swirl if you do not have the knit swirl book and you've been seeing my knit swirl on the podcast and thinking about getting the book I highly highly recommend it um, it's really a great pattern and just the fact that I've knit um, this is my third one and I know other people have knit two and three as well so it's definitely um, you know you know uh, an attest to how great the pattern is okay um, I have also been working on preemie hats and sock yarn squares again I posted my January squares and my January preemie hats to my project page um, I think I think I showed preemie hats on the podcast before, but maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. But I did do five in January. I did five squares in January. I have already done, I believe, five squares in February, but I'm only on two hats. I think I've done two hats in February. So I've got a little catching up to do with the hats, but um, I have been sticking to my goal so far with that. Um, let's see. Ecuador, I think I mentioned the last time I had the podcast that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be frogging it. Um, I think I need to do, redo the back. I think what I really need to do is actually block a swatch and see how it goes. Um, because I think I'm just using too much yarn, um, for the pattern and that's why I'm gonna run short plus I think I might have made the back a little bit too long I, I seem to remember that I think I made it eight inches and I think the size that I'm doing required seven inches and I think that could be another reason why I might be running out of yarn but I think what I'm gonna do is probably I'm gonna look at everything more than likely I'm not gonna be able to finish this project with the yarn I have unless I rip it completely out so sometime over the next few weeks or months <laughs> I will rip out that sweater um, I will re-knit it at some point I'm even considering getting a different yarn maybe the yarn that's called for in the pattern um, instead of the yarn that I was using although other people have used the yarn that I'm using which is the Ella Ray lace and had no problems with it but they also had more yarn they had four skeins versus the three that I had 
Although, with the three skeins I had, I should have enough for the size that I'm doing, but again, if I'm not, if I wasn't like doing gauge properly or not really stretching out the yarn when I was um, doing it, um, that could probably be a problem. So that project will get, um, will get frogged. Um, I have not done any more on Steve's felted slippers. You know, a couple weeks ago, I showed you all of the slippers that I had um, knit new bottoms for. Uh, those are all done, and I have like five new pairs of slippers that ha don't have holes in them. So I haven't been in any, in any hurry to um, finish up his slippers, although he only has one pair of slippers, so as soon as those are getting holes in them again, um, he's going to need some slippers. So I really do need to finish up that pair of slippers for him so that he can have a new new pair of slippers. The fall mystery shawl, again, haven't worked on that one at all. Um, just don't have the brain power for it right now. Um, but I have worked on my um, Never Shall Meet shawl. This I have really been enjoying um, as well. Here it is. Here is where I was the last time. I think I have the... F I think... I think I did, I was on the second pattern. So I have this pattern and then this pattern and then that's where I was the last time I showed it to you and I've done the next pattern, this is the third pattern here and then the fourth pattern and I'm back to the first pattern again. So I don't know how many stitches I have right now but it's going to make a really great scarf. Um, I, I'm sure I have quite a bit of yarn here. This is my hand spun. Um, I just don't know how deep it's going to be. But even if it's not a deep shawl, um, it's going to be a great little scarf, which is kind of what I'm expecting. Um, but it's very cool. I love the stitch de definition. I love the different stitch patterns. And it's not, it's not difficult to do. Um, so I really like it. And I and even some of the patterns like this one, I really like this stitch pattern. So I might even consider doing another um, shawl like this that just uses this stitch pattern. You know, using the same concept of how to increase and whatnot. But just using, this is stitch pattern number two. I really, really like that stitch pattern. So, um... Yeah, it's coming. It's coming along. I have I haven't gotten too much done, but I mean, really, that's from here to there. That's how many rows I got done. So that's quite a bit. And I really love how my hand spun is coming out as well. So that is that project, and I have another pair of socks that I have cast on. Um and. They are, first of all, they're in my Mardi Gras bag. This is actually a kit that um, I bought from um, Knitting's My Bag a few years ago. Um, I, I don't think it was last year. It might have been the year before. It might have even, even been the year before that. But I was thinking about Mardi Gras um, last week because Mardi Gras was earlier this week. And I pulled out my bag and I started my socks. And I also used the same yarn that came in the kit which is Spitting Fates and I think it's her um, Tulu, Tulula um, something like that base um, and I am at the heel on both of them and the only reason I'm at the heel is because I had no brain power to do heels yet um, I thought about doing it one day, but there was some craziness going on, and I thought, you know what, I just, I'm just going to wait. So I have two socks that are right ready for the heel. Both of them are right in the right spot. I just have to do the heel. So maybe in the next couple days, I will get the heels done so that I can start working up the legs. I don't, I think, I don't have the, um, the ball band. But um, this is Spinning Fates, and I want to say it's um, Tulula. I don't know. Anyway, 
it's the Big Easy colorway. And I don't know if she even sells this colorway anymore. Um, because like I said, it was a special, um, a special kit with Knitting's My Bag. And that's my projects. That's all my projects this week. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it is a short show because I didn't show you my sock yarn blanket. I will show you that again when I finish another row. I am starting another row on my sock yarn blanket. Um, and also, if you really want to see the squares, I'm hoping to start posting them in the um, sock, the square, square week cow thread. And also on my project page, I'll be posting pictures there as well. Um, I still have not done any spinning, not for any reason other than the fact that I've been too lazy to go and pull my wheel and bring it over close to my chair. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, everything is going well. Work has been kind of slow, um, the last couple of weeks, um, hence the progress that I've made on the blanket at the office. And, um, but I'm expecting that in the next coming weeks, we're going to have quite a bit of work because we are experiencing some extremely cold temperatures. Today, I think the high was seven degrees. Tomorrow morning, the low is supposed to be like negative 13. And I don't even know what the wind chill was. I think the wind chill was negative 30 this morning. Um... And so when that happens, a lot of people have frozen pipes and then they have water damage and then that's when we go to work. So I'm suspecting that in the next couple of weeks we're going to get we're going to get busy and um won't have as much time for knitting, but that's all right, you know. It is what it is. Uh, Sammy has been going to the office with me, which has been fabulous for my stress control or my stress relief because leaving her home and on insulin was really stressing me out. So she has been going to the office with me and hanging out and getting her tests every two hours or three hours or whatever, depending on what her levels are. So I've been more comfortable with that and that has, I think that's part of why my stress has gone down is because basically... I've left her for maybe half hour, an hour at any given time in the last couple of weeks. She's always been somewhere where I could put my eyes on her and make sure she was okay. But that's all I have for you this week. I hope um, you guys are having a great week. I hope you're staying warm. I mean, because if you live anywhere in the northern part of this um, United States, you're probably cold. And I even heard that it was 55 degrees down in the Naples area or is it Naples? Yeah, somewhere I think right around that area. Um, so it's been pretty cold even in Florida um, as well. So yeah, I hope everybody is staying warm. Get your knitwear out. Put lots of layers on. I, when I sit and knit at, um, you know, while I'm watching TV, I have a blanket on my lap and I have my blanket around my shoulders and the cats cut up, come and cuddle up with me, so that helps keep me warm as well. So anyway, I will talk to you next week. Hopefully there won't be any reason why I won't be talking to you next week because even if I don't have too much knitting to show you next week, um, I still will have drawings and that sort of thing. So I will be going ahead and um, doing an episode next week unless something crazy happens and life gets away from me and I just can't make it happen. Um, I will be recording next week. So thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye for now. As always, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed the show. Please feel free to contact me with your comments or suggestions as I am always trying to improve the show. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and YouTube as Blooming Knitter. You can also find me on Plurk, Twitter, and Pinterest as Blooming Knitter, but I don't frequent those sites as often. I post show updates on Twitter and Facebook, and sometimes to Google Plus and Plurk. I am Miss Aerobics on MyFitnessPal and Fitbit. You can always find all the old episodes as well as links to the tutorials on the blog at www.knittingblooms.com. And you can also follow the show on Facebook. 
You can email me at knittingblooms at gmail.com and show notes can be found at knittingblooms.com.